Hey, welcome back. I get this question frequently. How to add academic reference in Obsidian Node? How do I link any paper to Obsidian Node? How do I link any paper to a node? How to do citation in Obsidian Node? So in this video, I will address all of your concern and mostly I will show you four ways to do citation or reference in Obsidian Node. So let's get started. And one more thing, um, before going to serious conversation, uh, you know, I started publishing video after maybe two years because I paused due to my PhD. So I started organizing my room. Um, if you look into my back shelf, you see I started populating stuffs, but I reserved two more spots over here, one for Obsidian and one for Zotero. But I'm struggling to identify how can I make Zotter an Obsidian logo in a miniature scale? I prefer 3D and then I put over here. So if you have any suggestion, like. So I'll show you four methods. First two methods are mostly markdown based and manual. Third method is semi-automated. And finally, the last method is fully automated. Okay. I know different people have different preparations. So adopt whichever works for you. There is no good or best method over here. Which method you feel frictionless, just use that. It doesn't matter. Okay. Then you can see on my screen, I have a new, complete, fresh markdown vault or obsidian vault. So recently when I started making video, I started this practice to create a new vault so that you do not miss any step that I will show. Because I have been taking note for more than three, four years. I might be missing any of the step considering trivial, which is not trivial for new, right? And at the end of tutorial, I will provide you the link of this vault so that you can download and practice over here. You can also make sure you are not missing any step from my settings or any settings even any of the command or any of the writing style. Recently, I've developed a new Python script which can transcribe any video file in your local computer. And I have written a blog based on that. Let's say I want to refer the blog over here and then let me copy the link from my blog. So this is the blog I'm talking about. So I want to copy this blog link and then I want to refer over here in this line so that I can look into the source in future. So let's start with square, opening a square bracket, then carrot symbol, then one. See, this is my first reference. And then into it, sorry, square bracket, which actually has been done automatically. And then at the bottom, I will create a reference header. And then I'll do the, I will do the same typing again, opening square bracket, carrot symbol, and one after that there is a colon and then i will paste the link so you see now i have added a reference so if i change my note to reading view and if i click over here you see it is showing which reference it is which is really powerful if you have many reference you can actually go to reading mode and see which reference is what then you can go to that reference easily Okay, I believe you can do that. This is easy. And the second method is just like the linking mechanism that we see any URL in any website. And to do that, I already copied the link. So let's put the link in these two words and right click it, then set add externally. And then I can copy my link over here. So you can observe that. If I click the link, now I can go to that website. Okay, so this is also easy one. And the short, you can also, if you want to be a power user and you do not want to just right click and add external link, you can do that actually manually as well, observing this link. So first you have to start with the square bracket, then write the text you want to set, then first bracket, then it. This is easy, right? So you can refer this way as well if you are comfortable. Now let's go with the third method, which is the automated version of the first method. I know for some people, writing 
citation or reference this way using square bracket, caret symbol, all of those things is difficult, right? So the third method actually automated that process. So for that, we need to install a plugin. And for that, we have to first enable, turn on community, go to the plugin, community plugin, and turn on community plugins. And then we will browse with no shortcut. So this one. Then I'll install it. Find the installation done. Enable it. The next step is setup. So I want to hook a hotkey. footnote shortcut insert navigate auto number footnote so let's start with the tracing the plus symbol and then for that i will select control 6 which is the caret symbol looks like i'm referring something so let me resolve that because control 6 is used by something else which i do not like at all by default so let's delete that okay i do not want my tab 6 to consume my control 6 that's still it yet. now you're good to go okay let's bring the link from here again and then i want to set my reference over here what i'll do i have to press control 6 you see all of those things are handled automatically mouse cursory over here now i just paste it so easy and frictionless i think you would like it i always use this one honestly And now I'll show you the fourth method, which is fully automated one. This is so powerful. It helped me immensely during my PhD for collecting so many references for all of my papers and PhD dissertation as well as reports. And this is combination of Obsidian and Zotero because since I mostly work in academia before and do research stuff, I have to store a lot of PDF links, other things into my Zotero. Then I use those reference in Obsidian for taking notes. But the thing is like, since it is so good, it has a one-time setup cost that you have to follow right now, step by step with me. We need installation and setup for setting this automated method of referencing. Let's go with the setting and then community plugin and browse for citation plugin. Then install citation plugin. Just wait for the installation is done. I don't know what happened to my internet. Okay. Then enable it. We are done with installation. Then let's go citation plugin. And most of the things are pretty default. We will use whatever it is. The first thing we need over here, which is the database. So if you want to cite a lot of articles, research paper, report you need the database and database has to be in json format okay then who will provide us the database that is zotero which is my main um, source of reference management so i'll show you next how to get the database from zotero and the next thing is there's a lot of variable you can use below when you will create any literature notes and then let me see and the literature note content template the template is pretty straightforward i i use that we can bring variables from here if we want to extend the functionality i'll show you next don't worry. so obsidian side setting is almost done except we have to provide the database so this is my zotero reference library where i put all of the pdf links article whatever it is everything over here which are mostly file type and we have to install a plugin into Zotero to get the database in JSON format. So let's go to browser and search better bit. So go with the first link, which is the Zotero plugin extension. Download this one. I guess I already did. Okay. Download is complete. So this one. The next thing is we have to install this download into Zotero. Then I will open from tool plugin and inside plugin I just have to drag and drop my XPI file. Okay, let me do that. Put that into right side and this one left side and then bring this one over here and just drag it. Since I already installed it, I do not need to do that again. If you are new, if you just drag and drop over here, you will be able to install it. Just drag your file from here in this window. Then you are good to go. The plugin is installed. Better be text for Zotero. Okay. The installation is done. Next thing, we have to create the database. Then I selected my library. 
then export library okay then i will export library in which form format json format and that is beta csl json and i will always keep updated this is the most important thing you have to remember because we want to keep our obsidian database which is generated by zotero always updated so whenever i am adding any article into my zotero database so that i can refer that article into my obsidian node so that is the goal then i will go okay so i have to select a folder so which folder i will store my database so that's why i'll create a new folder over here i will set the name literature okay then i will get this folder location show in system explorer this will open into different window so this is the folder where obsidian save my literature nodes because everything in plain text markdown so it is good we can access that folder the next thing i will select that folder and save into my database so let's the database name is my library dot json okay so it is exporting all items so you see my database is ready and i'm good to go so let me show you opening the database a little bit so that you have the feelings how it looks like it looks crazy right don't worry you do not have to do anything everything will be dealt by obsidian database export is done from zotero side then we have to point the database in obsidian side so if you remember i put the database in literature folder but normally obsidian doesn't show it so don't worry but if you go to the folder from explorer you will see okay the folder name is literatures then go to the setting go to the citation plugin setting the first thing we have to do is to show the database path so we know where we have to save the database and we will start with relative path with respect to obsidian so consider this is the home dot is the home directory for obsidian then slash then literature okay then the name of the database which is my library dot json let me show it the name is my library dot json Okay, my dot json seems like i have a lot of reference over here 1172 references okay so the next thing i have to set is the literature not folder okay which is literature right so this is the folder where obsidian will save all of the literature notes in this folder to keep track of all of the references from zodero okay the setting part is done now i will refer one of my blog article over here let's go to my blog and let's see which one this one so why i teach overly for vs code a faster workflow for writing report and manuscript this is the workflow i'm really proud of and this saves me a lot of time because i do not have to wait for overly to compile my big article it's so messed up okay that's not the point. I will add this article into my Zotero reference system for future. I already did, but let's try again. Add this one so it will be added into my Zotero reference system in this folder. Oh my God, it did two times. Don't worry. Here, one thing I want to tell you, which is most important. Did this happen to you? You save a link of your article and one year later, you found that the link didn't exist. This happened to me a lot. It is really painful and I lost lot of amazing articles this way so saving even the web article in zotero this way is that it keeps a snapshot in your local directory so you are not going to lose your reference anytime that is the important thing you have to remember okay let me show you before going to the main um, topic show file so let's see this is the html file which which actually save whole article in STL format. This is really amazing about managing reference in Jotter. Okay, now let's go back to our main mission. Okay, I want to refer that article in this line. I got this idea by this method from this article. We will set that article reference in this line so let's go to command palette note over here insert literature note the short remember the shortcut i always use the shortcut Control shift e you can change that but use the default one insert literature note link then search you literature why i did you see the first one it automatically 
created a new node inside your literature folder and refer over here. So you can open this node, which is this one. This is really amazing, right? So whenever you are inserting any Zotto reference, Obsidian is creating a node into the literature folder and attaching that node into as a reference system. And I use this a lot. And the good thing about it is whatever node I have get or any idea or method, I can save in this node. I have a video how I do those things. I have a whole playlist you can check into my video. Maybe I will set a link over here. Okay, now this way, I can actually refer any article. Let's actually try with how I had citation in Obsidian. That note as well. Okay, let's try again. This time we will try with shortcut. Control Shift E. Okay, how I add citation in Obsidian. Okay, when I click on this note, it does two things. Create the note and send the reference. You see, it created the note and sent the reference, which is really, really amazing. I think you learn the process. You learn all of the methods, but I have one more bonus tip for you over here. Now, you might be curious why Obsidian set the reference name this way. Actually, this is called site key. Any article we read, we normally, when I actually prepare a journal article, I use site key to refer that article. So this is the standard way in academia to manage reference. There is a last name and the keyword of the article and the year. This is the standard way and you can get site key if you go to the reference at the bottom over here. This is the citation key, this call. Okay, so that is not bonus video is. So let's say you have an article and you, which actually there's a literature note created and referred it. But how can I actually go back to my original Jotaro article from Obsidian? So this is kind of bi-directional link, right? So now I can refer from Zotero to Obsidian, then how can I actually refer from Obsidian to Zotero? Let me show you. Okay, let's go to the setting citation plugin again and here number of variables you can use that purpose and the variable that we, we use is Zotero select URI. Come over here, update your template is the link is the article link, Zotero article link. Start with curly brace double, then name, Zotero, C L E C T U R K I and close curly brace. Okay. Now let's try again. Let me delete this one so that I can show you from the beginning the change. Okay. Port method and also delete this. Let's start with the shortcut. This time I do not use this command palette button. I will use shortcut Control Shift E, which is the shortcut. Why I dist overleave this one? You see that? And let's open this one. Oh, nice! Now I have the link of the Zotero article. So let's see what happens if I click on this link. Amazing! You see, this exactly identified my node into my Zotero database which is really, really amazing. Now I have a bidirectional link in between Obsidian and Zotero. So that means any article I have or I, I saved in Zotero, I can refer that in Obsidian as well as any article or any literature note I have inside Obsidian, I can go back to Zotero. That's really, really amazing feature. And, and this is so useful feature. I always use this one. So I believe you learned how to refer or cite any article in your Obsidian Vault. I think this video would be very valuable to you. You can adopt any method you want, which works for you, which seems easy for you. Okay, that's okay. And I mentioned that I will share this vault in the description below so that you can actually look into the settings as well as the node the way I did. And if you have any questions, put your comment. And at the end, if you find this video useful and if you want me to make such more video in future don't forget to subscribe like and share because that is the only fuel i will be keep going on making more video on obsidian i think that's all thank you very much see you next time